everyone, welcome to another episode of Project Control Mastery Training. My name is Shore Gorbani. I'm the founder and director of Project Control Academy, where we help you master your skills and knowledge in project controls. In this training, I'm going to show you how you can become a certified cost controller. So if you're uh, someone who is in project controls, if you're a cost controller or a planner scheduler who is interested to get into cost control, then this training would really benefit you because I'm going to walk you over different certifications that you can pursue to further advance your skills and knowledge in cost control. Are you ready to know what those certifications are? Awesome! The first certification is a Certified Cost Technician or CCT which is offered by Association of Advancement in Cost Engineering. This certification is for people who are fairly new to cost control, for junior cost controllers or for someone who is interested to further advance their knowledge and understanding of cost control, they can also pursue that certification because the entry requirements for that certification are not that uh, large and Basically, most people can go through these certifications if they just study and they learn more about cost control and cost management. So let's see what uh, you need to have in order to pursue this certification. As I mentioned earlier, it is for early career cost controllers because all it needs is only four years of experience or four years college degree. So if you have just four year college degree and zero experience in cost management, then you can also consider taking this certification or going through this certification. If you're a planner scheduler who is interested to know more about cost control and you're looking for ways to push yourself to learn cost control, then probably can consider taking this certification and uh, understanding more about cost control and be a certified cost technician. So as long as you have a bachelor's degree, you will be able to go through these certifications. And if you don't have a bachelor's degree, then it needs four years of experience. And you need to pass an exam and the exam consists of 100 multiple choice questions on cost management. So you need to pass that exam and it takes you three hours to complete the exam. And once you are a certified technician, uh, then you need to recertify yourself every three years. And uh, before doing that, you need 12 uh, continuing uh, education units or CEUs in order to um, uh, recertify yourself. Otherwise, your certification will expire after three years. Another certification is Certified Cost Professional or CCP. This one is a bit harder as the technician certification because it needs more years of experience from you. Uh, so let's see what you need to have in order to go through this uh, certification. So what you need to have, you need to have four years of cost management experience and four years of college degree or bachelor's degree. And if you don't have a college degree or a bachelor's degree, you need to have eight years of experience in cost management. And also you need to write a technical paper on cost management and you need to submit that to AACE before you are qualified to sit on an exam. So this is a bit harder, but it's really pushing your limit further and it helps you to really further advance your skills and knowledge in cost control because you need to write a technical paper in addition to all the other skills that you need to have. So if you are qualified for taking that exam, then you need to pass the exam, which consists of 120 multiple choice questions uh, and it takes five hours to complete. Once you are certified and when, once you get your certification in that area, then you need 12 CEUs in order to recertify after three years. So is this certification for you? Are you going to push your limits further and go through that certification? If your answer is yes, great job, a high five from me for you. I highly encourage you to really consider any of those certifications. They will help you to further advance your skills and knowledge in cost control and it helps you to be in a continuous learning and growth in your career. 
Okay, the last one, the last education that I have and I highly encourage you to pursue is Earn Value Professional or EVP. It is also offered by AEC International. So let's see what you need to have in order to be able to sit on an exam for this certification. You need to also have four years of cost management experience and four years of college degree or eight years of experience if you don't have the required education for that. You also need to sit on a five hour exam uh, which consists of 120 multiple choice uh, questions and also you need to interpret a report and write a memo at the end as well. So once you become an earned value management professional and then you're an EVP, you need to recertify after three years uh, by accumulating 12 CEUs. So in summary, these are all the certifications that are available for cost uh, control field or cost management area. And you can check more details about those certifications by checking AC website, it's ac.org, aci.org. So make sure you check the requirements for each certifications because those might change uh, every day. Those might change tomorrow, so from the time that I'm shooting this video. So make sure that you check um, uh, the website to have the most recent information and to get more details about those certifications. Again, I highly encourage you to consider pursuing any of those certifications and put that as a career goal for yourself. It's really worth it. It really adds a lot to your career, to the projects that you do, and it helps you to become a more effective cost controller. So if you want to learn more on how you can succeed as a cost uh, controller or project controller, make sure that you check this training, Project Control Success Roadmap Training. You can check it out at projectcontroltraining.com. With that, if you have any questions or comments, make sure that you write them down so I can assist you. Until next time, do your best in everything that you do and make a difference.